All right, so it's time to drop another Tesla video. And this morning, Monday, March 6th, Tesla's coming out with news. Big news, another price cut. That's right, they're gonna cut the Model S by 5,000 and the Model X by 10,000. So what is that doing to the stock this morning? Well, we closed on Friday at 197.79. Well, in the pre-market, it's up a buck. It's up 198.61. We'll see how it goes. I don't know if it does much because the market right now, there's the futures. The Dow is only up 10. S&P up 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 7.5, NASDAQ up 50. <laughs> a lot of that is attributed to Apple, but we're not gonna discuss that right now. Maybe I'll drop an Apple video after this. But you know what would be cool? If like everybody watching just hits that subscribe button, that will be awesome. <laughs> All right, but let's talk about Tesla because I don't think it's gonna do much. And we really needed to push these up or boundaries to get out of this area of consolidation. But I gotta say this, the longer we consolidate, the better. I think the better for the stock, the better it's gonna be because it's 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 resting right it's resting for that next move higher and i do believe the of course i know i know the longer we rest the it, higher the explosion is going to be now just remember that same explosion could be to the downside but i don't think so i think the explosion will be to the upside and if we go down possibly a drift down so here we go. We're looking at the daily chart and we'll just stick with the daily. And I think I'll bring it down to the hour and show you some stuff that it's, it's just, it's just in a range. There's almost nothing to talk about as long as it stays in this range, which is the gray box here. I think we are all right. There's some things I want to show you. We can zoom down to the hour and clear this out right here, here is a area that we should take note because this is the close right that's the last candle that we closed at which was 202.75 right so tesla closed 202.75 the day of investor day right that evening tesla came out spoke some words <laughs> the market didn't like it although it was good news it was good news they just didn't drop the 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 golden apple <laughs> or the new product that everybody wants to see or maybe a cheaper car or whatever they didn't perform magic and start throwing rocks at bulletproof glass and things like that didn't happen stock drops right the next morning it's like oh we didn't get it right and the options was popping i mean it, it, the market was primed for that um it was a lot of a lot of bullish trading action going into that it didn't happen. It wound up being a typical sell the news event. The market dropped and it came right back. This is the beauty, right? So right now we're gonna open up at 198.76 and that's right about here, right about there. And you know what? We might as well just call this gap a gap full. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a gap fill. Even though we, you know, to totally fill it, we need to be up here, but let's call it a gap fill. So it did its job. It basically took that 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 sell off and chewed it up and spit it out, right? If you sold when the market was open, you lost money because all of these guys, right? These guys right here that was selling, 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 oh, the news sucked or the no news sucked. Look, they all are losing money, right? It was time to buy, gap up the next day, and then close at higher prices. So here we are, here we sit at 198.71 in the pre-market, and what do we gotta do? I say if we beat that, if we can get above this 202.75, that's a good thing. That's, a, that's really a good thing. And then all we gotta do is fight this downward level right here, this, here, let me zoom back out to the daily chart so you can see it a little bit, and you can see that downtrend line right, that I pointed out, we call this the tertiary downtrend line. It just needs to break that. And it needs to also, that, well, put it this way, by breaking that, we also are out of this chop zone. This has just been chop. And the market has been, or Tesla, excuse me, Tesla, Tesla has been very impressive coming off of the lows in this chop zone, right here, right? Look at right there, look at that, boom, boom. 
it, it, it cra crazy right and you know for the most part when it reaches the top as well you know the bears are selling it off so someone is going to win this battle and let's hope it's the bulls if you are long the stock like i am so i'm gonna keep it right there short and sweet we're in a range right and we just got to get out of this range so far pre-market is looking good up a buck let's see if we can break uh the 203 level for the most part i said that 20275 and then this downtrend line come out of this chop zone and then we can head up to this next level of resistance, which is about the 220 area. We've got the 221 as the first 38.2 fib. It, it's unbelievable how we are up 100%, 100% off the low. And we are still 20 points away from the 38.2 fib. That's not, you know, we still got to work ourselves up to the 50% retracement, which is 258. And how about the 61.8, which is $295, right? And that's just a normal retracement. <laughs> We'd be talking another hundred bucks up. That's incredible. Just think about that. That's how deep the sell-off was. That's why we did retrace 100%. And you know what? I think we can get that next 100%. I do. I am long and I'm not just cheerleading the stock. I really do. You look at the weekly, you can tell, look at look at how beautiful this looks, how we came off the bottom sideways, almost bull flag in here. And all we need to do is break through that resistance line. We got the downward trend resistance and we got, of course, the horizontal resistance area. And since this is consolidating, causing a little volatility squeeze and there'll be a volatility expansion causing an explosion in the stock to causing it basically to move to higher levels real fast. Kind of like this move right here, right? Something like that sideways. And I'm expecting something like that. We are not going to creep up once it, once this area resolves, we're moving. We're moving. Let's just hope it's not to the downside. All right. So there's the video. Um, hey, what do you think about the the lowering prices? Really putting a squeeze on those competitors. I I actually like it. <laughs> I, I I love it a lot. Yeah, and it looks like the market loves it. They love it a dollar. Okay. They love it a dollar, <laughs> and that's a good thing. I remember the last uh, decrease in prices. The market didn't like it too well and sold off. But then boom, it rallied right back. If I remember right. <laughs> Don't quote me on that one. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Dre Trades. Hey, subscribe, like, bell, all that. Dre Trades out. Peace.